So when I talk to shop owners and I'm giving a demonstration of ProShop, a lot of them tell me that one of the biggest problems they have is when they have a work order and something needs to change about it, like something significant, not just rescheduling it to a different machine, but like they need to do a different way, they need to put it on an entirely different type of machine, like they were going to run it on their five axis, but now longer that machine is no longer available. So now they have to put it on a vertical with like four different setups. Or maybe they don't have any capacity at all and they're going to outsource it to a partner shop that they work with and that other shop's going to make it for them. And one of the challenges they have with their traditional ERP system is that that's really messy or they just can't really do it or they have to manually make change a bunch of stuff. So that was an issue that we always had at our, at our shop where we built ProShop. So I just thought I'd take a moment and show you some of the ways that ProShop can handle that. So here we have a work order. Um, it has three different milling operations here with this Haas VF2, right? Um, and let's say we're going to completely change the way we're going to do this. In fact, here's a great example. I can see this is an order for 10, um, but ProShop is telling me that I already have 44 of these in stock uh, at this revision level, right? So there's that little part. Anyway, so I'm going to just scroll down here. You see this button is called Refinalize. If I click this button, it's going to allow me to choose from the multiple different routing methods that I already have for this part. So it was routing one, uh, was to be built in house. I'm just going to click right here, choose this radio button, scroll to the bottom, click save. And just like that, now this is what my work order looks like. It's completely reconfigured. There's no more machining operations. It's no longer on our schedule. You know, this could have easily been an outsource method could have been a different set of machines. Uh, and those machines, when I reconfigured them to different operation numbers, would have all different work instructions, material sizes, inspection plans, all that would automatically get reconfigured. So anyway, just a little tip on how ProShop handles that. Uh, if this sounds easier than what you do today, give me a call and uh, let's talk. Thanks.